All right, so this uh, field that we're immersed in is 3.3 Tesla, and we have a rod sliding in this direction, the velocity v, and uh, the distance traveled, delta x, is 3 centimeters, and the time it takes is 0 0.14 seconds. Okay, and finally we're told that the loop has a resistance of 0.47 ohms. And we want to know the magnitude and direction of the current in the rod. Okay, so, well, for this is a motional EMF problem, right? We have uh, that the induced EMF can be given by the formula. It has a magnitude of just BLB. Okay, and the, induce, the, the external field is 3.3, the length of the rod is 5 centimeters, so 0 0.05. And then the velocity, that's the change in x or the change in time. Okay. We could also do this with flux, right? I mean, you could do, you could also say that it's equal to delta phi over delta t, and use b delta a over delta t, if you choose. But I'm just going to keep it simple and use blv. Okay, so I get from this uh, 0.035 volts. Uh, so the induced current, the magnitude at least, of the induced current is equal to the magnitude of the induced EMF divided by the resistance. So that's 0.075 amps. So there's that part. How about the direction? Um, well, just for fun. Well, it's fun for me. Uh, let, me let me expand on this a little bit. If I wanted to do the induced EMF is equal to delta phi b over delta t. How would I do that? Well, the way that the flux is changing is it's changing because the area is changing. Okay. And so the area is uh, 0 0.05, and then the way it's changing, we use that delta a is equal to the length times the change in the width. And so the length is 0 0.05, and the width is changing by 0 0.03 meters. And the cosine theta term is 1, because the area vector of the loop is parallel to the external field. We divide by 0.14, and that way we get 0 0.035 uh, volts. Anyway, <clears throat> now for, this, for the direction of the current, well, the magnetic flux is into the page, right? That's the direction of the external field. And it's increasing. As the, as the rod moves to the right, the number of x's in the, in the loop is going to get bigger. It's going to incorporate these x's into it. So that's increasing. That means that the induced magnetic field is going to try to oppose that change, and it's going to point out of the page. So there's our induced field. points out of the page. Now, the only way you get an induced field like this that points out of the page is if you've got an induced current that flows around like this in a counterclockwise direction. I don't think there's an answer.